What to do when there's institutionalized hate in an organization? Remember the rice experiment when I did talked about hate and love and ignoring rice? Well, you have to go back and check out those videos. But what happens when there's hate institutionalized in an institution? Whether it be in the mining industry or a, a corporation. And, you know, employees don't care about the company. Employees don't care about the customer. The, the company does, definitely doesn't care about the customers. What happens to the, um, the company? It, it decays, eventually it collapses. So what if you could institutionalize love into your company? You know, companies like Starbucks and Zappos, which, which institutionalizes love, and there's a tremendous feeling of love and rapport and energy around those businesses. Those businesses are getting hugely profitable and hugely successful worldwide. They've, got, they've become global brands. So what if you could institutionalize love, which is a force, which is a power in itself, into your company, into your business values? What would that do for your staff, working relationships? What would that do for your staff-customer relationships? What would that do for your bottom line? Institutionalizing love as a value and part of your mission and vision of the, and purpose of your organization. Think of how massively powerful your organization would be worldwide in the long run. This is Roger from the Healing Warrior Program. Have an awesome day.